heels. So good morning. Um, you can start by coming down onto your back. Think about the back of the neck being long, shoulder blades open and sacrum resting onto the mat. So this morning's class is called Opportunities. And while I've been out here this week, I've been thinking about this a lot. I think I did one recently called something similar, but every day we get presented with a series of opportunities and it's up to us as to how we look at them and what we take from them and what we learn from them and how we grow from them. We can choose to look at them positively or we can choose to look at them negatively and more and more with the opportunities that arise I realise that it's all in how we frame things. So not only do I want you to think about that um, sort of as you take that off the mat today, the opportunities that you get presented with and how you can make the most of them. But while you're moving on the mat, we always are presented with a, an infinite number of ways in which we can work our bodies, engage, integrate. So use every single movement, transition, pose as an opportunity to connect, integrate, um, and strengthen and stabilize even more, okay? So don't let any opportunity go unused or wasted. Um, so yes, opportunities. So have that as your intention to make the most of every opportunity that comes your way on the mat this morning. So as you're lying here, just think about that back of the neck, shoulder blades open, sacrum resting heavily into the mat. Think about the sacrum rooting down and then start to breathe by tuning into your belly breath. Feel your belly rise on your inhale, taking up space. Feel it soften on your exhale. This soft dance between the two, belly rising, belly falling. Think about that 360 expansion of the rib cage, upwards, outwards, backwards, towards the mat. And as you lie here, just take a moment to notice how your body feels this morning. Notice whether you're holding on to any tension or tightness. And again, use this as your first opportunity to tune in, to check in, and allow yourself to use your breath to send it around the body, moving any tension or tightness away. And then take a moment to tune into your mind. Again, so often we zoom through days without even stopping to pause about what's going on upstairs. And just again, use this to check in what's coming up for you, thoughts, feelings, emotions, does it feel busy, still, calm, anxious, overloaded? Have you got a to-do list for Friday for as long as your arm? Are you thinking about the weekend? Just observe and then take a moment to let go of anything that's not gonna be helpful. Pop it on an imaginary cloud and just let that cloud float past your eyes, taking those unwanted thoughts with it. They'll be there later but for now, give yourself this space, this time to be present, to be connected. Lovely. And then when you're ready, we're gonna come up into a bridge. So root down through the soles of your feet, spread your toes, big toe, little toe, heel, and then ground down, peel the tailbone up, curling it up gently coming into your low bridge. Think about rib cage pulling in towards the two front hip points. We've not got a block in at the moment. And then you're gonna slowly start to pulse. Little lift and lowers, pull the right fingers back with the left hand, push to the ceiling or the sky as you energetically pull back with the same force. Dialing that wrist um, out energetically so that you're connecting all the way up into your, that shoulder. Keep breathing, keep thinking about the lift and lower, the engagement. Are you activating through your inner thighs? You don't have the block there, but can you get that activation without it? Swap fingers, left fingers are pulled back with the right hand again, push up, open through the palm, open through the thumb. Good, breathe. 
Nice. And then take your hands to fists, circle in those wrist joints. Just notice how they feel this morning. Do they feel clicky or tight or stiff? Mobilize both ways. And then we're going to do big stars, tight fists, jazz hands, and we're going to go as fast as we can with the hands controlling the pulse, keeping it the same speed. Keep that low back nice and low. So you're getting into the glutes, but you're not compressing into that lower back and spine. Good. Let's go three, two, one, shake it off. Pause at the top, roll upper, middle, lower, all the way down to the mat. Good. From here, we're gonna come back up into a bridge. You can take your arms as little stabilizers down to the side, or you can have them on your hips, depending what feels good for you this morning. Drive down through that left foot, lift the right foot so the toe is pointing to the sky. Really lift out of this left glute. You should feel it immediately switch on. From here, we're gonna take that leg to 45 degrees in line with the other, so the knees are in line with each other and bring it back up. This is why it's good to have the arms as little stabilizers, okay? So you can control the body, control the movement. Good, we've got 10. Nice, keep breathing, keep the breath in and out through the nose. Reaching through that toe, hugging into the midline. Good. Let's do another four because I've completely lost count. <laughs> Three. Keep hugging into the center of that diamond. And last one. Good. And then bring that foot down. And this time you're going to cross that foot over. So left foot, right foot crosses over the left thigh. So you're in a figure four. Right knee is out to the right. Again, engage that left glute and then lift and lower, squeezing that left glute again for another 10. Good. Really drive into that thigh with the right foot. Again, hug into the midline, squeeze the glutes. Don't lift too high, but just make sure the glutes are activating. Good. Lifting up, lower and lift. Good. Let's do another three. Keep the breath fluid, two and one. Good. Bring that foot down, swap sides. Make sure you don't cheat by bringing that um, foot in towards the center. Keep it in line with the hip. So left foot comes to the sky. Again, options to have your hands on the hips and then bring the leg 45 degrees so the knees are in line. Keep driving through the right foot, squeezing that right bum cheek, reaching through the toes. Really think about elongating that leg away from you. Good. Keep breathing softly in and out through the nose. Use this as an opportunity to connect to your breath. How often do you move through your day without even being aware of how you're breathing? Situations will change our breathing patterns. So use this as a really lovely opportunity to explore the breath, connect to it and use it functionally. Good, let's do two more. Nice, last one. Good, and then bring that foot down, take a nanosecond of a pause, and then left foot crosses onto the right thigh. That left thigh is going, left thigh and near out to the left side. Drive down through that right, um, left ankle into the right thigh, engage the glutes so you open in the hips, and then lift up and down into that right glute. Again, notice how this feels. Notice the differences between the two sides. Keep driving through the foot, squeezing to the midline. Connect back to that breath. Good. Lift and lower, squeeze that bum. Good, hug into the midline so you don't get it into the low back. Good. Let's do another three, squeeze, two, and one. Hopefully your buns are on fire, foot down, roll upper, middle, lower, all the way down to the mat. Good. From here, interlace the hands behind the head, elbows frame the face. 
knees over the hips, inhale here, exhale, lift. If it feels too much with the knees over the hips, you can have the feet down, okay? You just want to make sure if you are taking your feet off the floor that you're not rolling forwards in your pelvis. So you've got that deep abdominal strength to hold your pelvis in neutral. Good, inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Tap the left toe to the floor. Tap the right toe to the floor. Inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Drive into the sacrum, tap the right toe. Tap the left toe. Inhale, come down. Good. Exhale, we lift. Twist to the left. Tap the left toe. Tap the right toe. Back to center. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift. Twist to the right. Tap the right toe. Tap the left toe. Back to center. Inhale, come down. You're then going to grab a block or a cushion or something between your thighs. Keep the knees over the hips. Interlace the hands behind the head again. Inhale here. Exhale, lift. Low belly pulls down and back. Twist to the left. Double tap the toes, lift up. Tap the toes, squeeze the block. And again, tap the toes, lift up, back to centre. Inhale, come down. Exhale, we lift. Twist to the right. Double tap the toes, lift up. Tap, lift, tap, lift. Good, back to centre. Inhale, come down. Exhale, lift, twist to the right, slice the left arm to the outer edge of the right thigh, right hand comes to meet it, left hand takes right wrist and pull, tap the toes for three, for two, for one, keep hugging into that midline, back to centre, inhale, come down, exhale, lift, hug that low belly down and back, twist to the left, slice the right arm to the outer edge of the left thigh, Left hand comes to take the right, sorry, right hand comes to take the left wrist. Tap the toes, keep the neck relaxed, keep hugging into that midline for three, for two, for one. Good. Back to centre, release the block, just bring your knees to your chest, have a little massage both ways, and then let's rock and roll coming up to our little boat. Lengthen the spine, arms out in front, really grow long through the crown of the head. Balance on those little seat bones. You should feel the abdominals working and those hip flexors. Good, and then come on over onto all fours. Whew, I am warm. So let's dial the hands out energetically. Shoulders on the back body, we're in our quadruped. Knees under hips make every pose count. So draw the neck back in space. And then from here, we're gonna do some tricep dips. So hugging those elbows in towards the body, we lower and lift. So we're not lowering our chest, we're lowering because our elbows are bending. So elbows squeeze back, you bend the elbow and lower down. Try not to let those elbows wing out like little chicken wings. We wanna keep them really tight in line with the body. Good, keep the glutes engaged, keep the neck drawing back in space, don't collapse anything else, it's just the elbows that are bending that's allowing us to lower and you should feel it in the backs of the upper arms. Good, hug into the midline, use those abdominals, let's do two more, nice work, last one. Good, from here come down into dolphin, Interlace the hands, forearms driving into the mat. Lift up and out of the shoulders, tuck the toes. Lift the bum to the sky, length in the back body. And then from here, we're going to take right heel to bum, circle three times in that right hip joint. Keep lifting up and out of the mat. Get as much juice in that hip joint as possible. And then three times the other way. Good, keep it controlled, keep it mobile. Good, and then swap sides, left heel to bum, circle three times one way, and three times the other way. Good, 
really think about drawing that big circle. Imagine you've got a paintbrush on the end of your knee. Come down, take a child's pose. Knees wide, let the belly soften between the thighs. You might notice if you feel tight in your hips that this feels tight. Drive into the little finger, feel that connection all the way up into the shoulders. Again, take this as an opportunity to check in, to pause, to breathe. Connect to your breath, draw it deep down into the belly. Good. And then when you're ready, come and stand at the top of the mat. Soft knees, lengthen the spine. Whew, I am warm. <laughs> Grow long through the feet, through the crown of the head, arms forwards and up, reach through the fingertips, hinge backwards. Again, this is a great opportunity. A lot of people don't use this part of the movement, um, they just flow through it. So be intentional, hands on the block, set the shoulders to the hips before you step the right foot back, lower the right knee, bring the body up. Tuck that right toe, arms reach straight up, squeeze that right bum cheek, drive through the right knee, feel it through this right um, hip, um, front of the hip. Good, and right thigh, really elevate through those fingertips, try and get as much space away from your pelvis in your upper body as you can, good. And then from here, you're gonna rotate to the left, back to center, so arms are reaching long, rotate to the left. Keep the arms exactly where they are, they don't move, you're just rotating in the body, good. Inhale to center, exhale, twist, squeeze that opposite glute, good, and again. And then last one, Good, back to center, hands to the mat, step back, plank. Zip up through the front line of the body, squeeze the bum, set the shoulders on the back body, push through those heels. Imagine you've got a zip from your pubic bone to your head. Watch the neck, hold, lower the knees, slowly lower with control. Elbows go back, hug them into the body. Don't collapse, good. From here, wide arm baby cobra. Pull the chest through, squeeze the bum. Length through the back of the body. Hug the belly. Really squeeze between those shoulder blades. Good. Release, frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back down dog. Have a pedal of those calves. Notice what feels tight and sticky this morning. Good, and then right foot, step it forwards. Don't use momentum. See how mindfully you can move that leg forwards. Use that as an opportunity to engage rather than just let momentum swing that leg. Arms forwards and up again, push through those left toes, squeeze this left bum cheek, lift the pubic bone, drive through the knee, reach through the fingertips, find that space in the front of that left thigh. Really elongate, breathe. Good, hug the ribs and then rotate to the right, back to center, rotate to the right, arms stay as they are. Rotate, squeeze the left bum cheek. Rotate, good, two more. Notice which side feels easier, which side feels looser. Good, hands to the top of the mat. Use this as an opportunity to hinge, to engage, to connect the middle of the body before you come up to stand. Good, from here, soft knees, arms forwards and up. Reach through the fingertips, hug the belly. Hinge from the hips, plant the hands. You're gonna step back to all fours, okay? So we're in quadruped again. And what we're gonna do now is alternate between a tricep dip and then right legs, uh, right arm forwards, left arm back to bird dog, come back, tricep dip, opposite side, okay? So we're just gonna be moving between the two. So tricep dip, right arm, forwards, left leg back, reach through that toe, through the middle, tricep dip. But each movement, I want you to move with control. Don't rush through this. This is not how fast you can get it done. This is not how much momentum can you gain. This is how controlled can you make the movement. Imagine each move, you are having to move through thick treacle. And you're really having to slow it right down because the consistency of the treacle is so thick. Good. Control. Good. 
Really think about elongating through the body. Reach through those toes and the fingertip ends. Good. Hug the shoulder of the stabilizing arm on the back body. Last one. Right arm forwards, left leg back. Good. And then from here, lift up and back down dog. And you're gonna take the left leg out to the side and bring it back in. So you're working into that outer hip. So you're hovering it off the floor as it comes out, comes back in. So I'll show you front on in case you can't see. So hands in down dog, leg comes out, bring it back in. Drive into the floor. Don't push into that right toe, use your abdominals. Lift up into the pelvis, soft bend in that right knee. Good, really work that outer left hip. Good. Let's do a few more. Three, two, and one. Good, lower the left knee, right leg to the back of the mat, modified side plank. Reach through that right arm, pull that left shoulder down the back, engage that left glute. Good, really drive into the right foot. Find as much space through the side body. Notice where it feels tight. Bring the body up, left arm over, gate pose. So again, drive through that left knee, squeeze the glutes. Lift up and out of that left side of the pelvis. Left hand down, right arm over. Breathe, pull this left shoulder down the back body. Hug the belly, engage the glutes. Bring yourself up, lovely. Left arm over, breathe. Really nice, guys. Left hand down, right arm over. Reach, suction that left shoulder on the back body. Through the middle. Left arm over, reach, really engage those glutes. Left hand down, right arm over, reach, good. And then from here, we're gonna rotate back to the top of the mat. Left leg goes long, three-legged dog, drive into the hands. And then step the left foot forwards about halfway or three quarters of the way. Land into the hands, lift the right leg, standing splits. Again. Pull the chest through, draw the neck back in space. Use this as a connection pose. Right foot down, left leg back, three-legged dog. Then step the left foot forward, standing splits. So you're just alternating between the two. Left leg back, left foot forwards, right leg lift. If you need blocks under your hands because you feel like you're rounding in your back, you wanna keep your back long in standing splits. Good, left leg back. Left foot forwards, squeeze that right bum cheek, lift, good. Really nice, guys. Good, keep breathing, moving with control. Left leg back, don't sink into the shoulders as you lift into three-legged dog. Good, let's do three more. Right leg lifts, pull the chest through. Good, step it back, left leg lifts, drive out of the mat. Right leg lifts, squeeze that bum cheek, good. Last one, left leg, land it forwards, right leg lifts, and then back foot comes down, come up, two stands, squeeze those glutes, good. Nice, let's do the other side. So, soft knees, length in the spine, arms forwards and up, elevate, find length in the body. Every pose is an opportunity to work the body, to explore, to notice. Hands to the mat, pull the chest through, um, left foot steps back, uh, lower the left knee and then bring the right foot back so you're in your quadruped again. Hands down, we're doing our tricep to bird dog. So, elbows hug, lower down, left arm forwards, right leg back. Hug into the midline, good. Swap sides, elbows lower. Right arm forwards, left leg back. Squeeze the bum, don't dip in the middle of the back. If you move with too much momentum, you'll just be like... Um, a sort of a noodle, a bendy noodle through the middle. You really want to move with control and make sure that you're stable through the midline at every point, okay? Make sure the hips aren't rotating out. Really easy to let one of those feet just open wide. Good, so make sure those toes are pointing to the floor. Keep the breath flowing. Work that bum cheek. Again, most of the time we sit down, they get a bit snoozy. So let's really fire up those bums before our day starts. Good. 
Nice work, keep it controlled. Left arm forward, suction the right shoulder on the back body. Good, watch the neck. Good, breath in and out through the nose. Nice, two more. Left arm forwards, right arm suctions on the back body. Lower, and then right arm forwards, left shoulder on the back body. And then hands down, you're gonna lift up and back to down dog. This time the right leg comes out to the side, bring it back in, take it out for 10, for nine, for eight. Keep driving into the hands evenly. Good. Take it out, bring it back in. Keep it long, but remember, don't push into the left toes. You want even weight through the hands. Try to keep the whole body level as you move that leg away, okay? Perturbation, we're taking a balance, a stability limb away. Good. Two, one, nice work. And then lower the right knee, left leg to the back of the mat, modified side plank, pull this right shoulder down the back, reach through those left fingers, breathe. Drive into that left foot. Find that space in the side body. Bring your body up, right arm up and over, breathe again, engage the glutes, reach through the fingers, hug into the midline. Good. Right hand down, left arm over, reach through those fingers, set that right shoulder on the back body, breathe, squeeze that bum cheek. Good. And then come up, arms wide, right arm up and over, really lift up and out of the mat. Good. Right hand down, left arm over, pull the right shoulder down the back body, squeeze the glutes through the middle, right arm over, breathe. Lovely job. And then right hand down, rotate back to the top of the mat. Right leg lifts, three-legged dog. Land into those hands, right foot three quarters of the way up the mat. Lift the left leg, pull the chest through. If you need height, pop the blocks under the hands. We don't wanna be rounded in our back. Left foot steps down, right leg back. Move with control. Use this opportunity to think about what's happening with your body. Consciously aware of what's going on. Most of us move through life without even paying attention to what's going on, especially in our bodies. So use this practice as a chance to connect and to tune in. Good. Making the most of the opportunity on your mat. Good, squeeze that bum cheek, left foot down, right leg back. Really mindfully move here, good. It's not about how fast you can go, it's how well you can stay connected through the transitions, through the movements, good. Keep the left foot bent as you send the right leg back. Left knee, sorry, so you're not pushing miles into that left toe, you're using your abdominals, good. Nice, last one. Good, and then come back to stand, come to the top of the mat. Let's go on to sequence two. Soft knees, arms forwards and up, hinge from the hips, bum goes back, plant the hands, come back to our quadruped. We're going to our tricep dip to bird dog again. So lower the elbows, right arm forwards, left leg back, swap. Tricep dip, left arm forwards, right leg back. Good, use each pose. Are you thinking about your neck? Make sure you're engaging your abdominals. Don't dip through the middle. We don't want any arched backs. Elbows stay tucked in towards the body in the tricep dip. Good. Five. Good job. Six. Good. Seven. Keep slurping into the abdominals and really stabilize through the balancing arm. Good. Last one, nice. And then from here, lift up and back to down dog. Have a little pedal of those feet and we're gonna go from down dog, so make sure you've got a long enough down dog to plank. If you need to walk your feet back in for the plank, do. If you need to be in half plank, come to half plank. Walk back, to, uh, lift up to down dog. If you need to move your feet in a bit, do. Step them back, plank. Zip up through the front line, good. Moving forwards and back between plank and down dog, good. 
Again, think about the control in each pose. Don't collapse when you come from plank to down dog. Good. Keep zipping up through the front line of the body. Nice work. Keep breathing. Shoulders suctioning on the back body. Good. Three more. Squeeze. Good. Lift up. Walk the feet in. Push into the hands. Connect. Step them back. Plank. Good. Last one. Lift up. Step them back. Plank. Lower the knees. Slowly lower with control. Heads of the shoulders stay lifted. Wide arms. So arms straight out to the side. Release the head on the mat and then squeeze the bum and lift the chest and the head and the arms and the shoulders off the mat. Good. Really lift up, squeezing between those shoulder blades. Working this back body. Good. Nice. Good, we've got three more. Squeeze, release, squeeze. Nice. Think about the position of the neck. Good, frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back, down dog. Again, walk the feet in towards the hands, not the other way around. We're gonna do shaky dog. So elbows hug in towards the body, lower a little bit, feel the shake, drive up to down dog. Hug those elbows in, lower the forearms a little bit, push up. Working those triceps, working those shoulders, stabilizing, good. Push, lower the forearms. Make sure the elbows are hugging in towards the body. They're not going out wide. Okay, so imagine you've got a block between your arms and you're squeezing that block, wrapping those arms round, not letting them pop out to the side. Good. Nice, last one. And then from here, step the left foot forwards, land the back foot, left hand comes inside the left foot. If you need a block, block it, but you're gonna come to triangle. So right arm reaches to the sky, drive through that sole of the left foot, suction the left thigh bone into the hip socket. Good, pull that left shoulder down the back, breathe and then side lunge left and right on the mat. Add in a rotation, so have the hand in the middle of the mat as you move left to right. You can pull from an elbow, but you wanna feel this in the middle of your back as you go into each side. Make sure you move over into that thigh. Don't just keep the body straight and the legs straight. Good, you're really moving into each side, good. And then rotate back to the top of the mat. Back foot steps in come up to stand. Nice. Soft knees, other side, arms forwards and up, reach through the fingertips, hinge back, lengthen the spine, plant the hands back to quadruped. Back to our tricep dip and bird dog. So tricep dip, left arm forwards, right leg back, keep the pelvis level. Tricep dip, right arm, left leg. Good. Keep breathing. Flowing between the two, but stabilizing, integrating, pulling everything into the midline. You should feel this get easier as your body becomes more connected. So you don't feel like it's as challenging to stabilize. You should get the stability quicker. Good. Keep the breath flowing in and out through that nose. Good, watch the neck. Squeeze the butt cheeks, hug the abdominals. Good. Nice. Whew. I've lost count. <laughs> Let's do one more each side. Left and then back. Down to tricep dip. Right. Good. And then we're going to lift up and back. Down dog. Have a pedal of those feet. Good. And then from here, down dog to plank. Set the shoulders. Lift up and back, down dog. Again, if you need to be in half plank, come to half plank with the knees down. Lift up and back, down dog. Walk back, plank. Lower the knees if needs. Squeeze the bum, zip up through the front line of the body. The same principles whether you're in full plank or half plank. Draw the neck back in space. Are you setting your shoulders on the back body? Good, lift up and back, down dog. 
We're moving relatively fluidly, but not uh, forgetting our form as we move. Good. Last one. Nice. And then from here, lower the knees, slowly lower with control, heads of the shoulders stay lifted. Lovely job, guys. Arms out wide, squeeze the shoulders, lift the head and the shoulders and the arms off the mat, squeeze the bum, hug the belly. Good, really lift between those shoulders, work the back body, keep the breath flowing, in and out through the nose. Nice work, guys. Five, good, four, squeeze, three, squeeze that bum, work those shoulders, two, and one. Frame the shoulders, tuck the toes, lift up and back, down dog. Have a little pedal of those feet. Shaky dog, so elbows hug in as you lower the forearms, push up to down dog. Hug the elbows in, push up. Only go as far as you know you can hold your form, okay? It's not about how low you can go, it's how well you can stay integrated as you lower. You should feel it shaking up as soon as you start to lower those forearms. It's as if you're going down towards dolphin. Good. Keep slurping into the abdominals. So you're in down dog here. Make sure your feet are close enough towards your hands. Good, slurp up into the abdominals and you're just lowering those forearms. Good. Lower them, squeeze the elbows in. And then from here, right foot steps forwards, land the back left foot, rotate it to the long edge of the mat. Right hand inside the right foot, left arm to the sky. You're coming to triangle facing the left edge of the mat. Drive into that left foot, suction this, sorry, into the right foot, suction the right thigh to the hip socket. If you need a block under the right hand, block it, or even if you just have your hand off the floor, all options are good. Reach through the fingertips, pull the chest through, good. Nice, and then side lunge to the long edge of the mat. Again, land the hand in the middle, Pull the elbow as you move left to right to get some rotation in that spine. Good. Feet are wide. Hands are landing in the middle of the mat. Good. Really feel it through the midline. Good. And then rotate back to the top of the mat. Come up to stand. Let's do our final sequence, the stream. 